I'm going to attempt to show the switching problem with the Buffalo WZR HPG300NH using OpenWRT build as of January 18th, 2012. I'm going to start from a fresh TFTP uh, image from that date. I'm going to go ahead and hit go and push the image and boot the router and we can watch it pick up on the console output. There it goes, so it's TFTP'd, the image pushed. Here we can see everything looks good with that. So now we just get to wait for a while while it copies to flash. In the meantime, I'll kill out of my TFTP server. And I will change my IP configuration to match the default settings within OpenWRT. So my laptop will be .1.2. In the meantime, we're coming up with our first boot in the background. So it's going to go through and wipe out all of GFFS and we'll wait for that to finish before I proceed with the demonstration. And you can see it started erasing all blocks after the end marker and then we'll get a, um, another uh, output when it's complete as well as the, uh, the light right there will stop blinking. So I have my laptop set up as 192.168.1.2 and we can ping itself. See? And I will set up my desktop. On 192.168.1.3. And make sure that it can ping itself. Yep, there we go. See? And so at this point, both the laptop and the desktop are plugged directly into the Ethernet ports. The LAN ports, ports 1 and 3 of the Buffalo router. Still waiting for that flash to complete. And what I'm going to do is reboot the Buffalo router and interrupt it during the bootloader and show that both devices can ping each other across the router in the bootloader mode, but cannot ping each other when the router has come all the way up. There we go. You can see this line here. It is now completed building. So there's our OpenWRT login. I'm going to reboot. And as it reboots, I'm going to control C during the boot up process to stop the U-boot bootloader from booting all the way. So there we go, we've stopped auto boot. Now, I am going to switch over and show we can still ping ourselves here on the laptop. And, lo and behold, we can also ping the desktop, which is on the far side of this switch from here, at 192.168.1.3. Similarly, if we walk over here to the desktop, I can see that I can still it can still ping itself at 1.3, and it can similarly ping the laptop at 192.168.1.2, like so. Now... As soon as we start booting this router and the uh, and the and the driver comes up for the real tip chip real tech chip, you will see that it no longer can ping. 
So here I'll start a ping to the desktop, that one dot three, and I will type in boot over here, and then switch windows, and ping is still working, bam, ping is still working, and it goes away, just like that. So this is even on the subnet that the router is set up on by default. Not that it should matter seeing as it's a switch and not a router. Or the machines are both connected to the switch. So now the router is booted all the way. We still cannot get any ping response. We will do an IF config. BR LAN to show that indeed the IP address here is 192.168.1.1 and we'll also show brctl show showing that brlan is eth0.1 so that exhibits that shows the problem the ethernet problem with this build for this router